Hey guys, so I'll be showing you a quick guide on how to make homebrew applications for the Nintendo 3DS. So with the recent release of tube hacks and iron hacks, there's been more people using the homebrew launcher. So I'll just be giving you a quick guide on how to make on how to make applications, and I'll just be showing you how they work. So this is not really too useful for like the end user because you don't need to know how they work, but if you're just curious on how they know what to do, then this is the right place to be. So first you'll download this template file that I will link in the description, and so from there you'll go inside of it, and at first you'll see a make file and a source folder. So let's just look at the make file real quick. We can open this up in Notepad++, which is my preferred code editing program, so let's open it up. Um, and at first it just looks like this is a note, so this is human language. This is a bunch of computer stuff that most people probably won't really care about. But if you look at it closely, then you might be able to decipher what it says. But we're not going to go too far into that. So, the first thing we're going to do is look for an icon, because we need an icon for our application. So, let's see if it mentions the name of it anywhere. Okay, yeah, here it is, icon.png. So, um, it looks for icon.png, and, yep, so, let's make new folder called icons I don't know if that's necessary but we'll do it anyway and then paste icon.png in there so let's open up paint.net or whatever well, actually since I already have CTRU lib downloaded I can just copy the default icon and just and just paste it here and name it icon and then let's edit it too. So, so I'm not going to be spending any time on this. Okay, done. There's an icon. Let's save this. And then it mentioned a folder called icons. So. Let's just paste it in there. Oh wait, I, I copied it, not cut it, but oh well. Okay, so now we have an icon. Let's go to, let, now let's look at the actual code. Let's go to source and there's a main.c file in here. So open it up and then you'll see that there's going to be 28 lines of code that you might not care about, but I'll just go over what they say. So, the at the beginning it'll have hashtag include. This just tells it what to include. It has just like parameters and stuff, information about the systems and stuff. So, yeah, this tells it to include 3ds.h, which has information about the 3ds. And then, going down, we have a blank line, then we have int main, this like initiates the main, it gets everything ready for execution. And then we have two parentheses. This, everything inside of this will be in the main, so you probably don't really want to have stuff outside of it, or above it, or anything. So then let's go down and inward. So graphics in it and it default this initiates the graphics so stuff can show up on the screen um, this is for setting it to be stereoscopic so if you want to use the like 3d slider then you would just uncomment this but we're not going to be doing that so we'll leave it commented then here's the main loop this is where all of the good stuff will happen so this just pretty much tells it while the main loop happens, do the main loop, so yeah. Um, not much useful. This, this tells it when, this is actually pretty useful if you want to use a button activator, 
it tells it when the start key is pressed it'll end the code and then skip like all the way down to this so this is good for if you want something to like show up on the screen when you press the A button so you can change this it doesn't have to be start so and then it gives you a nice little note telling you what happens and then up here is where all your, your actual programs will go so let's edit this and like so this will print hello world on the screen but we can't figure it out including stuff so this is something that you need to use the print file function so let's save this and then so the pretty much what this will do is when the text hello world will show up on the screen and then when you press the start button it'll exit to the home blue menu so let's close out of that and then now what you're going to do is go back to the template folder like so you can just see the folder name hold down shift and right click on it then click open command window here and then this will show up type make and then press enter and then see it'll link template.elf and build those things so unless unless you're converting to a CIA you don't really need the elf so what, what we need is the 3dsx and the smdh so um, let's just open this up in a hex editor just to see what it looks like because it should be pretty like the same yeah um, see uh, it just looks like the same all the way across um, unspecified author template unspecified author template unspecified author template so yeah it just pretty much does this for like 14 kilobytes and it has the icon or whatever so yeah that doesn't really matter but now this now we're going to make a new folder called like my homebrew app and then we'll copy the we'll copy the two files and paste them in there but make sure that they're named the make sure that they're named properly because if they're not then it won't even detect them So there you go, now you're ready to zip this and distribute it online or whatever you want to do. So, yeah, let's, I'm going to download Citra emulator real quick and then we'll see if it actually works. So I'll get back to you. Okay, so I'm actually on my 3DS because I couldn't get it to work with on the Citra. So, yeah, um, as you can see, the... At the what's it called the logo worked and it has the information on it and the um the name of the app is the name of the folder in which you compiled it with so i just realized that so if you want to rename your application make sure to compile it in a folder that's not named template so let's click on it and as you can see it worked it says hello world and then let's try and press the start button. See, it leads you back to the home boot launcher. So yeah, um, this is just showing you that this method still works. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment for more videos. I'll be doing more tutorials later. So yeah, peace.